everyone. Today is Friday, July 7th, Friday morning. It's been a minute. Welcome back to the channel. So I actually started recording a vlog for last week, uh, last weekend actually, for because we were doing a bunch of services and I was going to bring you guys along. But your boy got food poisoning. It was terrible. It was so bad. I'm not going to get into details because it's disgusting, but I, the whole thing got just completely messed up. So I didn't post any of that. Um, but luckily for you guys, this weekend is the workshop that um, I think I've been talking about the past few weeks. Um, we have a workshop for sound techs, musicians, um for small churches on like how to with certain equipment or what this equipment does or that equipment does how to mix um and even some like a couple of spiritual things for for musicians to help them you know in their daily ins and outs at church We've got a few people doing some conferences we got some people doing workshops drum workshop key workshop bass workshop guitar workshop and sound workshop so it's called the worship tech and sound summit it's the very first one hosted by myself um decided to put it together um due to a need that has risen in a uh, few of our churches so we just decided to do a full-blown for whoever wants to come and try to post the put the poster right there yep I also have some news uh, that I started a podcast. I started a podcast. It is up and running. It's on Spotify. You can see it on, you can listen to it on Spotify. You can listen to it on YouTube. And I'm trying to get it on Apple Podcast. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But it's live on Spotify right now. And, and it's posted on my YouTube channel. So you guys can check it out. It's called the Two or More Podcast. Yeah, I thought it might be uh, something different, you know. And actually, the episode came out pretty good. Uh, getting some good feedback from the guys that were in the episode with me. So I hope you guys like it. I'm going to see if I can put the card right there. And you guys can check it check it out. It's on my, um, it's posted right now on my page. So for you guys that are subscribed, you can just head over there. If you haven't subscribed, what's going on with you? Come on. Like, share, subscribe. All that good YouTube stuff. You guys know what you got to do. Turn on your bell notifications so you guys can get all that stuff when it comes out and you guys can help out the channel all right so on to this weekend so today today we have service for our evangelism department so um my friend uh, evangelist joel santos he has a a um what do you call it a special service today that we're going to be playing at and He's going to, I believe he's going to be the one preaching there, uh, giving the sermon. Tonight, the uh, service is at 7. I'm going to try to get there as early as possible. But yeah, it should be good. I'm going to try to, I think they have a keyboard over there. I'm going to see if I can hook up my uh, iPad to it and run Sunday Sounds, the Sunday Sounds app. And then tomorrow is the conference. Dun, dun, dun. And I'm a little stressed out about it. I'm not gonna lie. So there's a it, it it entails a lot. I keep switching the camera because my arm keeps getting tired. Um, but it's yeah, I'm a little stressed out about it because I want it to go really well and I want people to get helped out. I have a a little troll. I want people to you know get something from it. So I'm a little stressed out about it and a little nervous. But I know God's gonna do big things with it and people are gonna leave from there with a new perspective. And yeah. It should be good. So I'm going to take you guys along with me for tonight, for tomorrow. And yeah, it should be good. Hope you guys are excited about it. And let's go. Guys, my keyboards are gone. My keyboards are gone. They're not here. 
neither is my digital mixer. Oh my god, that's really dirty. I'm sorry, I gotta throw that out. Or clean it or do something with it. I get an actual table. Stop being lazy. Um, yeah. It, <laughs> it's gone. It's all gone. I'm just kidding. It's not gone. It's at the church because we're using it for the conference. <laughs> all right, guys. So I want to show you guys this kit. I got this kit for... It was gifted to me by... Gift, I'm sorry. Let me say that again. It was gifted to my son for as a practice kit. And I was like, well... Let me hook it up so that, you know, he can actually practice and it can actually sound. My son's only like three years old, but he loves the drums. So I was like, you know what? Let me get him used to a good sounding drum set. So I took it. We took it apart, put new heads on it, um, added some new hardware. I got a new cymbal stand for him, a crash ride, so an 18 inch crash ride. And then I got this Peisty 900 series. Um, 16 inch crash, which sounds beautiful. Um, I still need hi-hats. These are just like, yeah, please don't do that. These are just like those crappy generic ones that come with drum sets. Um, hi, hello, how are you doing? So, I decided to go with the Evans Hydraulics heads because I heard good things about them not needing too much muffling. And, eh, this one sounds nice. And then I also heard good things about this snare right here this is a ludwig super light and it sounds i don't know how to play drums um so yeah it sounds amazing i got this on it because i didn't want to keep putting gels and stuff but sounds pretty good with this on it, it kills a little bit of that's the overtone no that's not a jelly that's a y'all know what that is already and it it works very well and it sounds really good. I do want to change the beater head down here to a EMAD soon, but yeah. Oh yeah, and the crash ride is a Zildjian Eye from the Eye family. Uh Zildjian crash ride. I just cleaned it and it looks really pretty. But yeah, it, you don't need expensive drums to sound good. You really don't. Yeah, that was my spiel. I just wanted you guys to see it. It looks cool. I wanted to share that with you guys. Anyways, okay, bye. All right, guys, so we're at the church. We're here for the service. Hi, Sophie. Somebody got her hair straight and she feels fancy. Waiting for them to open the door, to get in, and have a good time in the Lord. Say hi. <laughs> All right, so I'm planning on using the iPad today. I know what kind of keyboard they have there brought my interface just in case but um yeah first time using it with that keyword i'm gonna see how it sounds you guys will see how it sounds too let me know how you like it and i'll see you in there la palabra es en el nombre del Padre, del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo amén alabar a Dios en su santuario Alabarle la magnificencia de sus cadenas, Señor, haz de mí tu voluntad. Oh, 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 oh. tu llenes mi espíritu santo, rompe mis cadenas, tu llenes mi espíritu santo.
está aquí es evidente su poder porque tu espíritu está aquí llena este lugar derramando tu amor tu amor me envuelve he venido por ti a tus brazos y amo porque tu amor me envuelve llena este lugar ven conmigo derramando tu amor porque tu amor me envuelve he venido por ti a tus brazos de amor tu amor me Guess what's the name of the podcast? The two or more podcast. Ooh. Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. And you are preaching about that, bro. <laughs> okay. We're here live after a big service. <laughs> no, it's not live. Oh, we're not live. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> it was so hot. So hot. Why are you always complaining about the heat? Yo, I was complaining in Puerto Rico too, right? Oh, I thought these had a good God bless you guys. How are you guys doing today? It's been a journey. It's two days. It's hot. I'm tired. Now, because of that one, I you gotta you gotta be on the podcast. 
Oh, now, no, everybody needs to know who this Joel is that they're talking about. Well, I'm Joel, and I'm from New Bedford, born and raised from Lawrence, Massachusetts. And um, when Jesus came to my life, everything changed. Tanto. <laughs> <laughs> brother Obi, or brother Obi, say something, say something, tell us something. Hey. Hi, ladies. Hi. How y'all doing tonight? Hey, hey. When I came past, oh, so why you didn't come in? Everybody, a round of applause. Anthony was here early today. I don't know, man. <laughs> All right, God bless everyone. We're here at the summit. It has started already. Um, the morning was a little hectic, obviously. We had to get here super early. We're giving away a set of in ears and uh, some drumsticks. And. Yeah, so it should be good. I'm gonna take take you guys along. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. See you later. Cuando usted y yo comenzamos a hablar de Jesucristo, van a ser muchos los tropiezos. Va a haber mucha gente que nos va a criticar, va a haber mucha gente que nos va a dejar de hablar, va a haber mucha gente que, va, que, nos, que nos va a señalar, que nos vamos a decir que... nosotros para que nosotros lo usemos para la gloria y honra del ministerio también eso no se lo estoy diciendo que no sea pero no es un ministerio es un talento organization la organización if you are organized you will be taken more seriously all right so let's say that you have a business like um Manuel Lemoy said you have a business Anthony you're the boss of your business right shameless plug. <laughs> You're the boss of your business. So if somebody comes with an organized resume and then somebody comes up to you saying, hey, can I get a job? Who is more appealing? The person with the resume because they came up. Prepare. You'll be taken more seriously when communicating with leadership, with other musicians, and so on and so on. Okay? Para los que hablan en español, lo que, las personas que llegan a la iglesia que están organizados lo, la gente lo coge más en serio a esa persona cuando tú vas a comunicarte con los líderes de la iglesia o con los pastores de la iglesia amén cuando ellos ven que tú eres organizado te van a coger más en serio y van a coger el consejo que tú le estás dando y no lo van a rechazar porque, ok, esta persona siempre viene preparada, esta persona sabe lo que está hablando. Maybe we should look into this, right? What is the biggest issue that we hear with the sound at our churches? Feedback. Cachate, se lo está la barulla. Pinta, that's number one. Hi, Pinch. Same thing. Number one is. Go ahead, go ahead. Echo. Echo. All right. Number one is. Crack it, crack it on. That's. Number one is feedback. Okay? And we're going to get to why that happens. 
when we move on to the end of part. Okay, so keep that in mind. How it's speaking, okay? Because if you look at the back of that speaker, I'm not going to take it down because it's huge. The back of that speaker doesn't have all this stuff. Esa cocina de allá no tiene esto. Lo único que tienen son dos de esos. Manda. You don't have to plug them in or anything because they run with a separate amplifier. Okay? So I know some of your churches have that kind of setup and some of your churches have these kinds of pieces. All right? So we're going to start with these and then we'll work our way to the other ones. Again, that's the final time. Um, the pianist does need to be sensitive to the fact that the bass is already providing or doing the bass line. If the piano plays the same double octave that the bass line is doing, then it's going to create low end motion. It's going to sound like a little less. And again, the main part, which I put it on here twice, so that must really be speaking to me, is don't overplay. As the bass gains more technique, there is a temptation to play more difficult lines, fill in even more, and putting more rhythm than what may be appropriate at different times, but when you can do what you do your fill but you come back to the rhythm back to the groove back to the tempo when you're hitting cymbals this part not like this no no yes and it's not downward it's out Hear the difference between and I'm hitting it with the same force. Same force, same drive. I'm just hitting it in a different way. sister randomly told me like oh we're having this you know like sell uh, on Sunday for this and it was like a last minute thing and I'm like oh well okay now I can easily just tell everybody everybody's in the know and who they who can cooperate can they, they can't they can't but now everybody knows you don't have to wait until you're physically at the church to give it the amount to give the announcement and so those kinds of things and the conference is done How'd it go? Uh, it went pretty well. It went pretty well. People learned. Eyes on the road. You're driving. It, w it went well. It, w it went better than I expected. Yeah. And a lot more people went than I expected, which is good. 
We had a good time. Everyone learned. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'm hungry. And you guys can see from the pictures and the videos that we took, um, you know, more or less how everything went. Um, the uh, the giveaway went well. We we raffled off a pair of in ears, and a pair of drumsticks. They went to people that I know are gonna be blessed by them. It wasn't much, but you know, I wanted to do a little something special for the people that attended. Hey guys, this is future me in post. So I had to cut that video short. Obviously, you saw how long it was. What I was gonna do was also post my my Sunday service with all that, but uh, ended up being too much, so I cut it short. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll give you guys the Sunday vlog in another video. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. I hope, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope it was a blessing to you. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, turn on the, notifi the bell notifications, all that good YouTube stuff. You know what you guys gotta do. Help a brother out, help the channel out, and yeah. God bless y'all and see y'all in the next one.